Hi, this is Rahul Sharma here from GM Financial. As we speak, not only is there a relief rally across global equity markets, but at the same time, there has been a significant cooling off in the geopolitical issues that we've seen. Not only crude has cooled off, but we're also seeing a cooling off happening in the US 10-year bond yields. Well, the key to November or and the coming months from here will be greatly dependent on how the world is able to navigate across these challenges. Now, speaking of our markets, Nifty did respect the 200-day exponential moving average. On the ex October expiry day, we did hit 18,838 odd, and then we saw a, a rally happening in our markets as well. Well, generally, a retest of such a key support level is healthy for the markets technically. Well, not only is this the 200 day moving average, but also the breakout zone of the previous rally that began. So if you remember, there were multiple tops, one at 18,800, another one at 18,900. That area has been successfully tested by the market as a stress test. Now going ahead, what will also depend is how do the positioning of the market in terms of the aggressive shorts which are held by FIs versus the longs which are held by retail. Does this position flip? Let us decode the markets step by step and see what November has in store for us. So firstly, to begin with the father of all markets, the Dow Jones index, as you can see in the graph, the long term trend line has been tested and a bounce back can be delivered. Now, as long as this structure remains intact, we are hopeful that the US markets would chug along in a relatively uh, less bearish way. Yes, the, the bear market is very much there in the US markets, but going by what the Fed has said in the last meet that they had, at least the rest of 2023 seems like they are done with the rate hikes and that board, boards well for the equity markets. So as far as that US positioning is concerned, it seems like the downside seems to be limited at least for this month. Well, what has been a bigger problem is Brent oil. We saw this spiking up significantly once the Israel-Gaza conflict arose. And post that, what has only happened is a cooling off. Now, the long-term charts are depicting a rounding bottom formation, the breakdown of which is placed at $83.5 per barrel. Well, if this does happen, I think there is a strong case for an uh, continued down move in the Brent oil. So what this indicates is if oil further corrects from here, that should bode well again for equity markets domestically and at the same time also put aside the sentiment and the fear which is revolving around the conflict. As long as it remains a bilateral conflict, I think the markets will take it similarly to what they took it in terms of Ukraine and Russia. And similarly, Israel and Gaza may not continue to bother. So oil remaining below $83.5 dollars per barrel is good news for the bulls. Okay, coming to the US 10 year yields, we are definitely seeing a pullback happening of the, in the last few sessions, but it is still not out of the woods yet. It could continue to remain range bound, maybe 5, 5.05 on the upside. On the downside, the cool off may take us down towards 4.5 as well. What this means is maybe after a couple of months, this could come back again to haunt us. But at least in the very short to medium term, this, it seems like the worst is behind us. So the second worry, which is uh, the 10 year bond yields seem to be not a caution as of now. What is also uh, significant to share here is the Nifty has shown a very strong bounce back after hitting the low of 18,838. As you can see in the graph, this is a crucial support which got tested and uh, the recovery, in fact, the quality of the recovery has been pretty good. We are seeing new leadership emerging, especially from the reality space, which has been uh, witnessing a very long term breakout. PSC, PSUs have been strong throughout that continues to say stay long, whereas consumption and FMCG, which after a prolonged period of consolidation, now seems to be coming out of the woods and there is further support which is coming in terms of the nifty now looking at the positional uh, uh, structure of the market or looking at how 
or when will the participants go wrong so if you see this graph historically whenever we have seen extremes whenever fi long short ratio has gone below 18 whenever nifty rsi has gone below 30 and whenever uh, the vix has shown an extreme range we have seen markets sort of you know reversing in a big way something similar happened a few days back on the october expiry day where all three major indicators were suggesting highly oversold nature for the market as we speak there is there are green shoots of short covering by fi's which have been predominantly short on the index futures visa vis retail which has been predominantly long and this continues that the way the trend is position it seems like we are at the cusp of a reversal now in terms of nifty 19470 is a crucial fibonacci level above which we think there is a further case for short covering by bulls uh, by bears which are which are fi's and once 19850 is taken out we would you know strongly agree that you know markets are completely entering into a new bull zone where we may see the nifty eventually head towards the target of 21000 so 19470 is where you know the bulls will the bears will go through a stress test and 19850 is where we are expecting further long addition or other influx of more money into the equity markets which can take us even higher so this is where the key to november belongs uh, short covering can easily take us until 19800 which is where the immediate target for the nifty is now the diwali picks that we've shortlisted for this year are primarily based on one theme and that is large caps we've seen mid caps we've seen small caps have a rally uh, since a long long time we've seen an index go up 40 45% in a matter of months after that the cool off so technically speaking mid and small caps are the ones where the cool off may continue or selective performance may happen but what we as a team believe is large caps are at a crucial level where the risk risk rewards are very favorable and where we believe there is a big upside that can be had in the coming 12 months speaking of the last 36 months or last 3 years last year diwali picks uh, recommended by our team yielded a return of 7% year on year the return was much higher in between the peak return whereas the year pri- prior to that which is 2022 uh, we had a 2021 we had a return of 21% and the diwali picks of 2020 had a return of 26% so 26% 21% and 7% are the last 3 year returns this year we expect to break all records and the way large caps are positioned will not be surprised if we get a returns in the vicinity of around 35 to 40% at the end of the year now coming to sectors which look the most robust in this year's diwali picks it is led by the psc psu pack followed by reality and then we have consumption which can uh, literally chip in with the uh, additional gains for the nifty so speaking of our diwali picks in terms of the portfolio construct these are top 10 stocks technically where we feel the risk reward is highest in terms of the biggest headroom and the lowest legroom and some of the stocks can deliver a return of as high as 50% as well we are very bullish on the psc psu pack which is why we have gas authority of india we have ntpc into the portfolio and in terms of reality you know dlf is our top pick as we record this some of the stocks have already gone in excess of 10 12 13% after initiating this we had initiated this uh, at the end of october just when the markets were uh, selling off in a big way but we feel that there is still a lot of upside to be had especially in some of the names that you shortlisted so from the it pack tcs looks like a formidable bet we have tata motors which continues to impress and which could sh- see a continuation rally in the coming months from here ntpc you know one of the strongest setups in the pse space uh, could very well be headed towards the 300 mark capital goods major lnt that continues to uh, be in our buying list uh, because this stock is not done yet in spite of capital goods having a fantastic rally in the last couple of years we feel that there is more upside to be had uh, in in this one as well as far as uh, uh, nbfcs are concerned bajaj finance is at the cusp of uh, another round of up move which can take the stock uh, towards uh, 10000 on the upside as well so not that these are the 10 stocks which we advise to buy for for an equal allocation 
have uh, a portfolio level stop loss placed at 18 percent and around 40 percent is what we are expecting by the end of this year uh, you know uh, the you know primarily large caps primarily the sectors which are doing good we are switching we are we are preferring sectors which are strong and we are we are picking on uh, the strength counters which have done well in spite of the nifty correcting uh, all the way from 20200 to around 18800 odd that we recently saw so we hope that uh, this uh, you know diwali picks uh, brings in a lot of cheer to your portfolio to your financial health in the new year and uh, you know because it is diwali and you know because uh, the situation is such that the the opportunity is such that we cannot uh, you know end this without speaking of gold and silver these are you know two commodities which look like you know they could be a very natural hedge in the first place for your portfolio at the same time there could be a new bull run which is probably brewing in 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 silver so as we speak gold saw the big breakout and post that we're seeing it cooling off as long as this structure remains intact uh, we we are optimistic above 1900 dollars the chart remains a buy on dip and there could very well uh, be uh, a strong case uh, for a bounce back or a rebound from lower levels and at the same time it also acts as a good hedge in your portfolio so gold remains a buy on dip what remains even better is silver so silver has been into this uh, compression triangle since many months now the breakout of which can actually take the silver in a big way uh, we are having big bold targets of lakh rupees for the silver so one can look to accumulate it is a volatile uh, commodity for sure so look to accumulate in a broad range stop loss placed at 62000 and we are optimistic that we should very well see uh, the, you know this metal shine up to lakh rupees on the upside a lot of it also depends on what happens in china what happens with base metals because of the industrial application of this metal but the charts are suggesting that possibly something big is a big move is on the cards we hope uh, our portfolio our diwali picks and our views on gold and silver benefit you to the most goodbye see you again investment in securities market is subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing